Hello, everybody. I'm Lu Cheng from Hamamatsu. I'm an application engineer specializing in image sensor and uh, image sensor driver circuits. We have our own foundry that manufactures different types of uh, image sensors, including CMOS, CCD, and uh, INGAS. For many years, Hamamatsu has developed the image sensors for measuring a wide range of wavelengths and uh, energy regions, from infrared and visible to ultraviolet, VUV, and uh, X-rays. Uh, we offer a wide range of uh, image sensors for diverse applications from scientific environments, industrial machine vision to consumer applications including uh, personal health care, food safety, and range detection. Today, I'd like to talk about the newest developments in our CCD and the CMOS product lines. As CMOS technology matures, you may ask, do we still need a CCDs? Some people even call CCDs as a dinosaur device. But my answer is yes. If you have a different opinion, you are welcome to visit our booth 1227 at Photonics West. And I would love to talk to you about CCDs and the CMOS. CCDs high sensitivity to detect a very weak light, the low noise, and the high dynamic range make CCDs still the best choice for scientific and medical measurements. For example, in spectrophotometry, the CCD can provide a very accurate quantitative output signal, which is hard for CMOS to achieve. However, CCD operation is much more complicated than CMOS. It requires a multiple clock phases and a high voltage bias, to make it simpler to work with CCDs, Hamamatsu also offer driver circuits. So the CCD operation now becomes as easy as plug and play. We will show the newly released CCDs and the driver circuits module at the Photonics West this year. The beauty of CCDs is that uh, you can operate a CCD in different readout modes. For example, the on-chip pixel binning. With pixel binning, you can increase the signal-to-noise ratio by increasing the full wire capacity while keeping the same readout noise. A CCD also can be operated in the time delay integration mode, and uh, this type is called TDI CCD. In the TDI mode, the CCD captures an image of a moving object while transferring the signal charts synchronously with the object's movement. This operation mode can increase the sensitivity more than 100 times even when capturing fast-moving objects. This year, we will show a TDI CCD CMOS at the Photonics West, which combines a CCD photodiode array with the CMOS readout circuits by using our hybrid technology. So this sensor can deliver the digital outputs and at the same time, have the advantages of CCDs. As I mentioned earlier, using a CMOS image sensor has become the trend because it's much easier to add features on the sensor chip by using the standard CMOS technology. For example, a built-in AD converter with delectable bit resolutions, an SPI interface, and electronic shutter functions, and a programmable gain are all features that can be implemented on a CMOS image sensor chip. Our back illuminated 2D CMOS sensor has 90% quantum efficiency at its peak and uh, has more than 30% QE at the 900 nanometer wavelength. Its uniqueness is a high sensitivity in the near infrared region up to 1100 nanometer wavelength, although it's still a silicon device. Uh, this 1 million pixel CMOS sensor has both rolling shutter and a global shutter, a built-in column parallel ADC, and um, many more features that you can find out at the exhibition. The last addition to our CMOS product line that I'd like to mention before I go is a distance image sensor. These distance image sensors can be designed into 3D cameras for measuring the distance to a target object by using the time of flight method. 
and also build the 2D image with the depth information. This product line includes both linear and area sensors, which can be used for LiDAR, automotive, robots, shape recognition, and also motion captures. You are welcome to visit our booth 1227 at Photonics West if you have any questions about image sensors. I'm looking forward to meeting you at Photonics West.